This is MSJ Chem, and in this video, I'm going to look at hybridization. Hybridization is the mixing of atomic orbitals to form hybrid orbitals that are used for bonding. Hybrid orbitals result from the mixing of different types of atomic orbitals, that's S and P orbitals, on the same atom. According to the ground state of carbon, it should only be able to form two covalent bonds. Here we have the electron in box diagram for the ground state of carbon. And as you can see, the ground state of carbon only has two half filled 2p orbitals. So therefore, it should only be able to form two covalent bonds. However, carbon is able to form four identical covalent bonds in methane, CH4. And next we'll have a look at the explanation of how carbon is able to form four identical bonds in methane. We'll start by looking at sp3 hybridization. So we start with the carbon atom in its ground state. We have two electrons in the 1s sublevel, two electrons in the 2s sublevel, and two electrons in the 2p sublevel. Next, an electron is promoted from the 2s sublevel to the 2p sublevel, and now we have the carbon atom in its excited state. So we have one electron in the 2s sublevel and three electrons in the 2p sublevel. Next, we have the mixing of the 2s and the 2p orbitals to form four sp3 hybrid orbitals, each containing one electron. This explains the fact that methane is able to form four identical bonds. And here we have the bonding in methane. There are four identical bonds formed, which are four sigma bonds, and they are formed between the sp3 hybrid orbital and the s orbital of the hydrogen atom. The sp3 hybridization in methane results in a bond angle of 109.5 degrees. Other molecules that have sp3 hybridization are NH3 ammonia and H2O water. Both these molecules have sp3 hybridization, although they do not have 109 degree bond angles. The bond angle in ammonia is 107.8 degrees. The bond angle in H2O is 104.5 degrees. Next we'll look at sp2 hybridization. So we start with a carbon atom in its ground state. We have the electron promoted and then we have the carbon atom in its excited state. In sp2 hybridization, we have the mixing of one 2s orbital and two 2p orbitals to form three sp2 hybrid orbitals. In sp2 hybridization, we have one p orbital that's an unhybridized p orbital. Next, we look at the bonding in C2H4, which is ethene. In the ethene molecule, there are a total of five sigma bonds and one pi bond. The sigma bond between the two carbon atoms is composed of the overlap of two sp2 hybrid orbitals. The sigma bond between the carbon and the hydrogen are composed of the overlap between an sp2 hybrid orbital and an s orbital from the hydrogen atom. And the pi bond, which forms part of the double bond between the two carbon atoms, is composed of the sideways overlap of the unhybridized p orbitals. The sp2 hybridization in the ethene molecule results in a bond angle around the carbon atom of 120 degrees. Another example of a molecule that has sp2 hybridization is boron trifluoride, and that also has a bond angle of 120 degrees. Next we look at sp hybridization. So we start with the carbon atom in its ground state, then we have an electron promoted, and then we have the carbon atom in its excited state. Next we have the mixing of one 2s orbital and one 2p orbital, to form two sp hybrid orbitals. In sp hybridization, we end up with two unhybridized p orbitals. Next, we'll have a look at the bonding in C2H2, which is ethyne. The ethyne molecule has three sigma bonds and two pi bonds. There is one sigma bond between the two carbon atoms, and it's formed by the overlap of two sp hybrid orbitals. There are also sigma bonds between the carbon and the hydrogen atom, and they are formed by the overlap of an sp hybrid orbital and an s orbital from the hydrogen atom. 
the two pi bonds are formed by the sideways overlap of the unhybridized p orbitals on the carbon atoms. The two pi bonds are at right angles to each other and they are represented by the green area of electron density above and below and opposite sides of the sigma bond between the two carbon atoms. The sp hybridization in the ethyne molecule results in a 180 degree bond angle. Other molecules that have sp hybridization are BeCl2 and carbon dioxide CO2. Both molecules have a linear geometry and a 180 degree bond angle. So finally we look at the relationship between the number of electron domains, the type of hybridization, the molecular geometry and the bond angle. Atoms with two electron domains feature sp hybridization, the molecular geometry is linear and they have a bond angle of 180 degrees. Examples are carbon dioxide and ethane. Atoms with three electron domains feature sp2 hybridization, they have a trigonal planar shape, a bond angle of 120 degrees. Examples include C2H4 which is ethene and BF3 which is boron trifluoride. Atoms with four electron domains feature sp3 hybridization. The molecular geometry is tetrahedral or bent or trigonal pyramidal. The bond angle is equal to or less than 109.5 degrees. Examples include CH4 methane, H2O water and NH3 ammonia. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.